right, we are back for episode number nine of our painting the Horse Heresy Legions without an airbrush. Uh, and today we're doing the Iron Hands. Um, I believe the end of the Blood Angels episode, I said I wasn't sure who Legion number 10 was, but I thought it was the Iron Hands. Turns out, check, I was correct. Uh, I primed this guy with Gracier Spray from Games Workshop, Citadel. And we're just going to go straight in for Black Templar here. Um, same as we've been doing with several of the base coats. We're just going to make sure that our brush is wet when we uh, when we apply this color. So I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but, you know, wet. Not dripping, but not dry either. And then we're just going to put this everywhere. Um... I'll be completely honest, I don't think I've ever painted an Iron Hand in my life before. So I looked at the GW scheme, what they, uh, how they paint them for the Heresy. And they painted, at least the one in the book, is painted with a blue bolter. I thought that looked kind of cool. So we're going to do a blue bolter. So if you, if you see me painting a blue bolter and you're like, what the heck, what is he doing? That's what the book has, so I don't know if the painter just decided these guys needed a blue bolter, but or if that's like a canon thing, they all have blue bolters, I have no idea. I just thought it looked cool, so I'm going to yoink that idea and use it. Um, and so all that being said is I'm going to try and be careful around the bolter and not just paint it black. So we do want it to, to appear blue. But I am going to cover the rest of the marine in this color. There's going to be quite a bit of silver on this marine. Um, just because, you know, they're the iron hands. Iron is typically silver. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Iron depicted in 40k, when talking about the iron hands, is typically depicted silver. Iron could be orange for all I know. Um, but I'm going to just carry on with this. Get all the armor nice and blocked in, and then let it dry, and then we'll come back and do the next step. All right, we are back. Our black is nice and dry. Um, it didn't go into all the recesses up here in the backpack, but that's okay. We're going to paint a bunch of that silver, and it'll be null oiled on top of it, so we're not worried about it. Now, we're going on to Leviathan Blue. And this is for, like I mentioned in the beginning, how Games Workshop decided to paint the bolter on the iron hand in the book blue. So we're going to paint ours blue. It's a pretty dark blue um, in the book. So I'm just going along with that. Again, I don't know if this was just a painter randomly decided to paint it blue or if they've canonically had blue bolters or what but I think it looks pretty cool so I'll do it Just, uh, yeah I forgot I'm gonna do the bayonet as well just gonna get the entire gun here pointy bit and all I was going to say blacked out, but blued out. And then I'm going to go a little bit rogue. And I'm just going to paint the armor joints in this color as well. They're already black, so they're not really going to sell as blue. But what they will do is sell as a different shade to the armor. And that's all we care about. We just don't want our armor and our armor joints looking identical. It stands to reason that they would not be made of the same material. Let's get that in there. You can just barely see this one here. Probably a little too much paint there, but it's alright. No one will notice. And then right there. And I think we are good. So I will let that blue dry and we will come back and do silver, which is going to be two different silvers this time. 
All right, we are back and ready to move on to our silver. So first, we're going to use Iron Breaker. And this is going to be for the same sort of stuff that we have done on all the previous Marines. Um, so we're going to start here on the gun, and specifically the bayonet. And I'm going to say what I've said in every episode thus far. If you decided to go for the chain bayonet instead of the straight bayonet, and you want to still copy this paint scheme, uh, I would paint the body of the chain, or the, yeah, the chain bayonet, uh, keep it the same color as the bolter, in this case blue, paint the teeth in silver, and then paint the bit that connects it to the bolter in silver, and uh, you'd be, you should be good to go. I'm just going to paint all the raised stuff here on the bolter with this color. And then the barrel. And then I'm going to do the whole magazine in silver as well as the bit of the handle sticking out from his hand. I'm going to do that in silver as well. Right there. So then, I'm not going to do his any of the helmet details because his helmet is going to be the second silver we're going to use. I'm going to do those. And then I'm going to get these exhaust ports here. And I will get the conduits here on the backpack. And then I'm also going to do the six main rivets. Um, I've talked about this in every episode as well, I think. These guys have a lot of rivets on their backpack. We're just trying to get an army out. We're not trying to be winning competitions or anything. So I just paint these six rivets up here. They're the most prominent. They're also the biggest. It's the ones people are going to see. And then I don't even bother painting the other ones. And... Uh, you know, to just get an army out, I think that's fine. Anyone is obviously welcome to paint theirs if they want to. For my goals, though, for this series, and with just my personal goals for getting a Horus Heresy, Horus Heresy army fielded, I'm not too concerned with it. So that will be all of our Iron Breaker. And now, similarly to how I debated for a long time about what color I should paint the Blood Angels with, finally settling on Blood Angels Red. Uh, I had to debate for a while, talk to friends, I made a committee, a search committee, and finally I settled on Iron Hands Steel for the Iron Hands color. I know it might be shocking to some of you, but like I said, I organized a search committee and this is what we came up with. So first of all, I'm going to paint their hands with this color. They are the iron hands, after all. Just leaving the black from the Black Templar between his fingers. So we still get a little bit of definition. And then get the other hand here. There we go. And then I'm going to do the bumps on his shoulder pad here. The um, the GW paint scheme for this guy actually has these bumps in gold, which I didn't think personally, I didn't think they really fit the Iron Hands look that I wanted. So I'm just going to keep them in silver. But uh, apparently GW wants them to be gold, so you could always keep that in mind. Then I'm going to do the these ridges on his backpack here. There we go. 
Then I'm going to get my bigger brush and paint his helmet in this color. This. this is just the entirety of his helmet here. There we go. So that's our silver done. I'm going to leave this for a little while to dry. And then we're pretty much coming up on the end here. So I'll let this dry, come back, and do a couple details, do some weathering, and call him done. All right, we are back and we're gonna do some details now. Well, I'm gonna start with Korax White. This will be for the eyes. We're going to make his eyes red eventually. But first, we're gonna put the Korax White in here so that the red has something to shade over the top of. So now like that, I'm also gonna get this little lens up here. And then his other eye. Okay, there we go. And while that's drying, we don't want to just put our red straight on top of that. We're going to go back to our original silver, Iron Breaker. Get a little bit on a, uh, a crappy brush. And then wipe most of it off. And then we're just going to do what we've been doing on these Marines. Just find edges. work down the armor get some edge of the feet here and we're just working down like that so that we have some we have some streaks it just kind of looks like stuff has been bouncing off the armor or whatever on that one get this shoulder pad here butt plate, always a good place for some weathering. Back of the legs here. And then the backpack. I'm just going up and down on the backpack here. Get this elbow. Get some more here. A little bit there. And then maybe that line there. I think that should be good for our weathering maybe a little more down here Just make that a little more silvery so then by now our white should be dry so we will come in with our red and for this I'm going to use flesh terrors red and very carefully put some on the white right here a little bit more than that there we go. Get the other eye here. And then a little lens right up there. So now, the very last thing we're going to do is go back to our bigger brush and apply some gold oil. So I'm just going to stay away from the head for a couple seconds because that's where we were just painting. I can do everywhere else while we're waiting for that to dry. Get it in all the silver nooks and crannies here on the backpack. Get it all over the armor. Just to kind of unify the, the finish of the armor here. And then get Bolter. This will tone that blue a little bit down, a little bit more even than what it already is. That's just what we want. We don't want bright blue. We want toned down blue. So then I'm gonna get this shoulder pad here, and then hopefully it's been long enough. I'm just gonna try to be careful around the eyes in case it hasn't been. too much. So I guess it had been long enough because that red didn't run out everywhere. That's good. There we go. 
And I'm just going to check little places like the vent here. There was a little bit of white showing there earlier. Make sure I cover that up with the null oil. Up there was the same way. That looks good now. Get some more in there. And I think that will about do it. So, right about now, you should be seeing pictures of him on the basing scheme that I've been using for these Marines in this series. Just something super simple, so they all look uniform when they're lined up next to each other. He's not going in an army, so he doesn't need a fancy base or anything. Um, I am working on a couple armies based on some of these Marines. And so I haven't decided yet if those the Marines from this series will go into those armies or if they will just be examples on a shelf. But either way, if you guys liked the video, feel free to actually click the like button. Um, I do appreciate you enjoying and liking the video, but, you know, physically liking, I like that too. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see the rest of this series. And feel free to comment below if you liked it or didn't like it or want to see something else or whatever. And I will be back tomorrow or the next day with legion number 12 because legion number 11 is actually the other one that's lost to time legion number 12 which is the world leaders so again thank you for watching and i will see you next time